There's no one. Mm -hmm. Hi, this is T.H. Colhane for Solar Cities. Zabilla Colhane behind the camera. And today we're commissioning System 3. Unlike System 1, which was a biodigester tank inside a greenhouse that is kept warm by the bath water, the dish water, and the food that we put into directly into the slurry in the tank. This one is a tank inside a water jacket tank, so a 700 liter tank inside a 1,000 liter tank. <clears throat> and it's being heated by heating the water in the outer jacket. <clears throat> that keeps the digester warm. Two methods for heating. One is a passive solar system. This radiator in a box of glass is taking the cold water from the bottom of this tank it then heats it up and because the top input is higher than the top of the solar panel here the hot water thermosiphons into the water and replaces it as the cold water comes back in heats up and goes in so there's a thermosiphoning system that operates every time the sun is shining and as you may be able to see from this dial, we're now at about 50 degrees centigrade inside at the top of this. So it is thermosiphoning, but there's going to be a lot of days when there isn't enough sunlight. And that's where we have this stove here. And this is the inside of a gas shower uh, that I got from Cairo. Usually this is upside down. Here we're putting the biogas that's coming out of our gas collector through the stove. The stove is heating the heat exchanger and then again the cold water is also coming from the bottom of the tank and then going into an input at the top of the tank. So these are two methods for heating the water jacket and then today I'm going to insulate the water jacket with styrofoam very well and with stretch wrap and then cover it and that should hold the heat. Thanks a lot.